What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me and Sam in MX5 stuff. So over here we've got like a little bit of a list of bits. So we've got steering wheel with quick release that's going to go on. We have got a rear chassis jacking bar. So that's just going to go at the back there with a, so the V is going to be at the bottom down there so we can jack it up from the back. Sun visor light and the reason why the car is currently inside is we've been uh, having to go at yanking the arches out. So since fitting these new wheels, uh, it's been rubbing a little bit on the front and back just because I've gone for a little bit more of an aggressive tire size. Uh, people recommended sort of like between 185 and 205, so I thought I'll go for the Meteor one and uh, we'll just figure it out as we go. So we've rolled the rear arches so far. Um, it's not the greatest finish in the world, as you can sort of see here. Did try and sand it off as much as I could, but bodywork isn't my forte, but you know, it's just about protecting it at the moment. So we've uh, primed it and we're just starting to put like the first couple of layers of white on. It's not gonna be the same white as this, but the car is going to be painted sometime, uh, hopefully this year, but we'll see. So it doesn't really matter that, oh, just drop everyone. Um, so it doesn't matter too much that it's not gonna be the same white and that it's just gonna be sort of like, like a bodgier finish. So like here you can see just the primer. But uh, yeah, so as we're rolling it, paint's been flaking off a little bit. So it's just mainly to protect the metal work underneath. And so we're gonna be doing the same on the fronts. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what we've got so far. So I think we're probably gonna do all the arches first then I'm going to shortly get started on this uh, rear jacking bar so it literally replaces these tow hooks if we can get some brightness for you guys would be quite nice camera does not want to play ball no that's fine it's okay you guys don't need to see um, but yeah so there's uh, a couple of bolts a couple of nuts up here either side and what it does is we remove them and the chassis bar goes in its place. So I have coated all of them in duck oil uh, just to loosen it up as, I don't know if you could really see anything, but it is, uh, they are a bit rusty and crusty. So if we can get them a little bit looser to at least start with, that makes life a little bit easier. So yeah, I'm gonna put another couple of coats of white on and then we shall get started on removing those rear tow hooks and installing this lovely, that was heavier than I thought, the, the jacking bar. So I think it bolts on like that. So you can see the Dave Fab logo on the back of it from um, once it's installed. And as you can see, it, it, you do still retain the two towing eyes. So, it's not completely lost, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking on with it. All right, so for the removal of these, there's two 14 mil bolts at the back here. If I can remove. Right, there's, there's two 14 mil bolts here. Uh, sorry, two 14 mil nuts. And then two 12 mil bolts, one there, one there. So as we can see on this side, they're now removed. So let's just do this. That's everything removed. And this just slides out and off. This disgustingly crusty old toe and eye. So that's, that's literally it. That, that's the removal for that. So I'm gonna get a wire brush, clean all this up nicely, and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, give it a good clean up. I've bought brand new bolts and nuts, so don't need to worry about them. They can just go into the uh, drawer. And yeah, I'm just gonna put a layer of uh, grease on them, so that way they just go on nicely, and then if I need to remove it, it comes off nice and easily. So it's just, planning for the future with everything with this car as uh, you can see it looks like tiger braid under here so 
this is disgusting and we are going to address this it looks like uh, what is it sam is it an avocado hate fucked another older avocado it looks like an avocado had sex with an older more disgusting avocado yeah not gently like he was hate fucking basically yeah. that's it the old uh, <laughs> deadpool <laughs> quote face. yeah so that that's literally what's going on over here so this is all going to get refreshed at some point as well it's on the to-do list we will uh you just need to figure out what i need to get so if subframes arms bushes everything hubs and then it's just going to be a case of a, a long weekend drop everything a wrap to line the hole underneath and put it all back together and hopefully it's not so much of a shed but anyway moving on let's go grab the jacking bar and clean up all of this bit and chuck that on all right so i got the bit and hopefully it should just be a case of pop it over the studs he says oh it's gone exactly where it needs to be all right so fresh new bolts a tiny little bit of grease on it tiny bit definitely should put that through the wash first oh well no mind And just like that, so, just so you can see. All right, let's just so as you can see, there is grease everywhere, but fresh new hardware all in there. And what does it look like from the back? You can just about see the bottom of it. So this is now a jacking point for damn seagulls shut up yeah so I can now jack up the back of the car from uh, from this uh, at a track day drift event whatever so you can just quickly swap out the rib swap out the rear wheels fresh tires and away you go and again crustiness I really do need to sort that out but yeah one job jobbed and on to the next one. So front arches are now also rolled and painted. So the paint match is a squint and it's kind of, no, even squinting, it's not really fantastic, but the car is being painted further down the line. Um, so this really doesn't matter. It's only temporary it's to protect the paint, uh, the metal underneath. And we've got something special lined up for the paint. Probably in the next couple of months or so. Fingers crossed. But uh, that, that should be quite fun. So Sam's just putting all the wheels back on. And then, yeah, the car can come down. And we can get to work on the inside. So, yeah, it's all, it's all looking good. Contemplating trying to do like a cut bumper on the back. Just so a bit more of the the Dayfab uh, chassis jack is sort of like more exposed um, as I'm planning on changing the exhaust anyway as I'm not a massive fan of the twin tip like it, it doesn't look bad and like it sounds pretty good as well but I've always just had in mind my cars well my jack cars to have a jack cannon or just like the single tip out at the uh, right. Out the back to the side, just one nice big tip. That's what she said. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to be changing that exhaust soonish, probably at the same time that we do with the underneath, or maybe before. Just depends what the plans are and what <laughs> what I end up buying first. So, yeah, wheels are going back on. Torque them all up. Car comes down, and then we can get started on the steering wheel and the interior lighting so i've started somewhat assembling the uh, release to the steering wheel but 
just remembered I've put the wrong bolts in there. So I will remove the steering wheel that's in the car, put those bolts there. And yeah, those bolts are for fixing quick release to the new hub. So I've got a new hub as uh, this one's a lot shorter if it decides to focus on what I want. Mm, definitely not happening, but yeah. So this one's a uh, shorter hub compared to the one that's in the car. Oh, Jesus, I need to sort out the handles as well, they're a bit stiff. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, this one's quite, quite big and thick. So yeah, we're just getting everything sorted nice because there we go or else uh, the steering wheel is just going to be sort of like too much in my face so this one's already less of a deep dish than what's in the car twinned with that it should help push it away a little bit i mean obviously i've been gaining that much from the quick release as well so it's a little bit of a lose some of the depth from the hub but gain a bit and then the deep dishness i'm making no sense but hopefully you know what i'm trying to say but uh yeah let's get the car down and get cracking on with the inside some girls in the commercial in it with a spanner on them now oh there we go oh because uh, yeah well the whole thing should come off surely yeah yeah we're going yeah Yep, that fucking works, doesn't it? Am I, lose, am I missing something? Smack it from the back. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so just for context, the nut is off. But... There oh, there we go. Gently does it. So that is the old hub and steering wheel assembly. So you, you can see the difference there. And once I put that on there, yeah, it's gonna be about the same distance wise, but we've got the beauty of having the quick release. So we will take this over to Sam. And uh, he's broken something else you have to unlock it push it the other way it, that's what I mean about I need to fix it yeah push it forwards forward yeah oh <laughs> this so, on straight that looks straight to me yeah I think that's where it goes so, yeah. Have you found a nut? No! Alright, let's go nut hunting. <laughs> Where'd it go? Just fall down the side. Down the side, the seat. We'll be back shortly. And resume like nothing happened. So, we've got that on nice and straight. The nut definitely didn't do a disappearing act. Yeah, we'll gently do it up. We'll don't tighten it up too much because. I want to replace all of these at some point anyway, so that's all going to come off. And there we go. Yeah, little, little I'll go kit. Yep. Yeah. And that is the new hub fitted. So, yes, now I'm going to, I'm going to take these bolts off so I can give them to Sam. So then he can fit the quick release part. So that way you can fit that to the hub. I can then fit these bolts to here. And yes, it will slowly start coming together. All right, so Sam has now done all of this up and bing, there we go. Quick release and new steering wheel fitted. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that's Positioning wise, it's still pretty, pretty good. Oh, okay. So much better. <laughs> so yeah, we just need to figure out horn wise, what we need to do. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, yeah then that's another job done and then I think it's just these left to do because that is the interior light down here it is a candle in the wind so the jasket is I think it bolts into here and you've got two nice bright little LEDs figure out where to run the wiring and let's finish this off first <laughs> button fitted all wired up test definitely just <laughs> touch those two connectors job job <laughs> all right i love it when when it all comes together all right two jobs down no three jobs down one to go so let's grab the interior lighting kit figure out what we need to do and uh crack on with it it's all slowly starting to come together why is the fuel gauge is still showing as half full so, but obviously there's no keys in it or anything so does that just normally do it i, I don't that. know i wondered that earlier because <laughs> normally all, everything just goes down don't it, it yeah, just, yeah 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 everything's just off but unless it just likes to tell you that there's fuel but i'll move on to the next job so the interior lights is this kit here so it is relatively straightforward looking these are what replace the sun visors sam's already taking this sun visor out if we head around to this side as you can see like these are the world's biggest sun visors so it's truly going to be a loss um but yeah so they go there assume we just run the cable down there down the a pillar and somewhere so yeah go under there oh there we go this sounds already on it so yeah i mean it looks like a pretty straightforward circuit so that's probably going to be passenger side driver's side and then these i assume is going to splice into the original interior lighting sure looks like it so hopefully fingers crossed this is going to be another one of those quick and easy installs of the day but <laughs> sam's not convinced but yeah as long as it all comes off nicely i don't see why there should be any issues so let's let's get that other sun visor off and see if the trims play ball i uh, put the light in through from the other side so that way the key was behind so that can now just screw in like that sam's fighting in with it that side but same thing uh, just put in the light from behind the plastic that way uh, the cabling is behind the trim then it should just be a case of screw these back in screw them back in then we're gonna run that wire down down the a pillar and over to this little candle in the wind get it all spliced in and fingers crossed it should just work straight away all the top trims are now all back together we have pulled these i swear these seagulls just decide to just get lippy every time i turn it on all right so what i did was pull this roll back that exposed the edge of this a pillar trim down here so that we could just tuck the wire in all the way down here and again just tuck it in behind this bit here run it underneath there ignore all those wires that's just how i got the car do need to sort that out because there is a big issue behind that stereo which i might show you in a bit uh depends how this goes but sam is now sorting out tapping the feed into the uh the original um what are they called interior lights there we go thanks for that <laughs> there's a deep concentration in the instructions but uh yeah so that's all coming along nicely hopefully we shall uh well we've unplugged the uh unplugged yeah disconnected the battery because well, we're going to be snipping some wires we don't want to accidentally blow a fuse or cause any other damage so we will cut to the next clip where we will be testing these not hopefully we will be testing and it's all going to work
Right, moment of truth. Is it going to work? Oh, I had a, oh, I had a flash. Oh, we've got a flash, but. <laughs> no, that's not legit. Is it on the middle one? No. Middle one's the door. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Yeah, for some reason, when that's on the on switch, it, it never worked. Okay. Well, so, well, working now. So that works, and I'd say that's a decent amount of light in there. Yeah. Even though it's still daytime. But. It's, uh, it's all come together quite nicely. <laughs> it was a successful win. Wasn't expecting it, but hey, we will take those as they come. So I'm going to call that a, success, a successful, <laughs> successful day on the MX-5. Uh, everything went pretty smooth for the first time in I don't even know how long. So I think we should get the car outside, let it warm up a bit. Jesus! <laughs> but yeah, get the car outside, get it warmed up, see if it'll maybe do a little burnout and uh, call it a day. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have. Make sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more to come with this, more to come with the Up, the Audi, everything. Maybe even the Clio, it's still sat over there. No one's bought it yet, so is it gonna stay? Is it gonna go? No idea. But uh, if you wanna see us do anything in particular on this, do let me know down in the comments for like mod-wise or anything like that. I'm open to all ears and even suggestions for stuff underneath that I'm going to be replacing so if anyone's got a recommendation for arms all that kind of stuff do let me know down below but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one